Okay, now we're going to just make some final adjustments. Uh, we're going to try to unify this whole thing um, with a gradient, <clears throat> and this is always like kind of hit or miss, and so we'll just see how it goes. So, first, add a new, uh, make sure you're on the top spacecraft layer, add a new layer, and what I'm what I want to address is there's not a feeling that everything is connected yet. Um, there, there needs to be some adjustments in particular in the color. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put a light gradient <clears throat> of a purple or, uh, across this whole thing and we'll just see if that works. So first of all let's change our foreground color. Double click on the foreground color and what I'm thinking is a light purple color. That's what I'm going to try first, is to see if it works. And so you can see, uh, you can, if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, here's my RGB settings for this color that I'm going to try. Okay, so I'm on a new layer, <clears throat> and in fact I should call this gradient right now, just so I don't get confused. Okay, very good. Now, um, we've been using the paint bucket tool so you have to hit the drop down menu next to the paint bucket tool and choose gradient tool and once you choose gradient tool you'll have a drop down menu here that'll show you a whole bunch of them and what you want to do is you want to go from foreground color to transparent okay which is the second one over you don't want to go foreground to background foreground color to transparent that's why we chose the the foreground color first so that's selected. Oh, the other thing is um, there's radial and linear gradients, but it should um, default to the linear gradient. Okay, so once I got that selected, I'm gonna place my cursor at the bottom off of the canvas, click, hold, and drag straight up. And um, this, the first time probably won't work. We'll just see what happens here. So I'm gonna, I'm still holding the mouse button down. I'm drawing. I'm going straight up. I'm going past the uh, moon here. I'm going to let it go, <clears throat> and I get that. And let's see what happens if I crank down the opacity for one thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, that actually, much to my surprise, worked much much better than I expected it to. Um, what with the opacity down to about you know 40, I could even go a little bit less even 25 percent so you can see like how that like kind of brings everything together okay this is a, a gradient the layer is at 25 percent and this is with it enabled and then um i'll this then i'll dis this is disabled this is before no gradient with gradient so it just kind of softens everything and gives like a diffuse lighting now I can do further stuff with this. Um, now since the and I want you to <clears throat> make adjustments that you see fit. So for example, um, since I grouped all the stuff that's associated with the moon, I can click on the moon group and I can do a command or control T and I can size the this object, you know, I can tilt it, I can, I can do whatever I want with it as a group. Okay, that's one thing, but to tell you the truth, um, I'm going to leave mine the way it was. Two things um, that I'm looking at here that I'm not really thrilled with, I think my glow around my moon is like way too, too much, and I think the background plasma is way too harsh. So since we're talking about the moon, let's deal with that first. I'm going to open my moon um, group here. I'm going to go to moon glow, and I'm going to turn down. The, now, I, what I could do is I could redo the moon glow with a less. I could, you know, I could completely redo it and not have so much blur to it. Uh, just to save time. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to just turn down the opacity just to see what that gets me and I'm much much happier with that. So I turned down the opacity to about 50% on the moon glow, which to me that looks better. It's it's not like overwhelming uh 
it's not coming into the foreground, which is what I want it. So let me close my moon group. Now my plasma is way, way too garish and bright. And so I'm going to click on my plasma layer. And again, what I could do is I could add a hue saturation layer to this and adjust it that way. Or I can just, again, just to save time, I'm just going to crank down the opacity a little bit. And that looks a heck of a lot better. Um, I cranked down the opacity to by about 20% to 26%, and to me that that looks much much nicer. The other thing I'm seeing is that you know you know, you change one thing, you, you know, then you you feel like you have to change another. This um, planet should probably be darker, and I don't know if this is going to work or not. So let me open up my planet group. I don't know if you guys remember from the video a long, long time ago that we did this. We had a planet copy group that had a multiply layer on top of it. I'm wondering if I add another multiply layer and if this darkens. I don't, I don't know if it's going to look nice or not. I'll just see. I might just leave it as it is. So I'm going to like copy my multiply layer and it does darken it a little bit. And it actually does look a little better. Um, and as you can see, changing opacity of my layers is like a big strategy of mine that I do a lot. Um, this is looking pretty good. And then the, the lights on there, they're like a really weird color. So I'm just like, uh, through the wonders of digital uh, art, you know, I'm just like making these, these subtle adjustments. Whoops, uh, that's wrong. I did that wrong. I'm on the lights layer and I'm turning down the opacity of the lights a little bit and I think the colors of the lights, I could probably use some contrast there. So I'm going to go to the hue saturation layer and I'm going to see if I mess around with my different hues, if I could get something a little bit more interesting. Now this is kind of cool because the I got like this gold that's like a color related to the the gold up here you know so that's just me you know fiddling around with all these myriads of adjustments um, and I'm pretty happy with that as it is and now now they look at it compositionally I think the spacecraft needs to be bigger so you know I'm that looks a little bit bigger. Now this is more the star of the show, you know? Uh, and voila, that's that's what I'm, for this assignment, this is what I'm sticking with. I think it looks pretty cool. So, um, let's see, I'll talk about the uh, file save in the next video. So one more video to go and we're going to wrap up.